Hi, my name is Amanda Harris, and today I am going to talk to you about accountability and what that means as a Beachbody coach. As a Beachbody coach, accountability is our number one job. It is pretty much the most important thing that we can give to our clients. Um, when we are advertising and trying to get people to buy a challenge pack from us or to buy a workout DVD, we tell them that we're going to be there. They're going to receive coaching from us throughout the entire program. And we can't just have them go through, buy the product, and then be like, see ya, thanks for the commission, um, and then drop off the face of the earth. Because we're not, um, that's what sets us apart from all other workout programs, um, is this idea of coaching that Beachbody has come up with. If a person just wanted a DVD, they could have gone to Walmart or Amazon and, and bought a, a workout DVD from them and done it by themselves. But they came to us because they want somebody to help them. They need support. And that's what our job is as coaches. You don't have to have a background in exercise and fitness. You don't have to have professional answers to give them. They just want you to check in with them weekly, daily, and, and see how they're doing. Did they get their workouts in last week? What are their struggles right now? Are they, you know, answer questions or just give them a virtual high five, like way to go. Um, and it means so much just to hear from us. Um, you know, one of the things that we can do to help um, facilitate this sense of accountability is to provide a challenge group. Um, you can join up with another coach or a couple of coaches and you can do a combined challenge group or you can have your own challenge group and it can be with one particular workout like everybody's doing T25 or like I have set up a, I have a, a mixed challenge group where people are coming and going starting their programs at different times because everybody orders at different times and nobody wants to wait until a challenge group is going to start they want to start as soon as they get their product because they're motivated and if it sits in a box for a little bit then they're gonna forget about it so I kind of just toss them into my little challenge group page and every week I put like two to three four or five depending on how responsible I am that week um, I post a, a motivational things tips about eating and nutrition and ask them how they're doing but I also email each person who's in a challenge group each person who's got a challenge pack that has bought one from me I kind of keep a little spreadsheet that shows when they started and, and what week they should be in based on how long the program is um, and I every week I send them a weekly email and and if you haven't been in your back office and you haven't clicked around in all the different tabs you need to. You need to spend an afternoon just clicking and opening and seeing what's back there because Beachbody has provided us with a challenge group guide for each workout program that they have. So what I'll do is I'll open up a, the T25 challenge group guide which also has pictures um, that you can use if you're posting this on Facebook or you just want to share something encouraging to your challenger. There's um, the weekly schedule for each week, what workouts they should be doing each day, along with a quick motivational um, video from Shanti or um, Shalene Johnson. There's somebody there that kind of gives them that motivational video. And then there's lots of tips and advice. So what I do is I combine um, bits and pieces of that week from the challenge pack guide. I always include the daily schedule. I include the um, video for the week. And then I pick a couple tips um, from there. And I ask, how was last week? How did things go? Um, what are your goals for this week? What do you want to do differently that's going to help you achieve your ultimate goal? Um, what are some things that we need to work on? How can I help you? And so I do that every week. I don't always hear from them, but I know that they're reading them. So. Um, and I just make sure that's my Monday morning job and then I follow up throughout the week as they respond. Um, another thing that works in a lot of challenge groups is to add maybe a small prize. It doesn't have to be anything expensive, just something for them to shoot for. Um, and you can 
create kind of a point system based on how many times a person shares the meal they ate that week or their shake or a sweaty picture of themselves. All of that builds accountability. Um, they have to answer to you. They kind of have to do a homework assignment um, to make us know that they're getting their workouts in because for all I know, they could put the DVD in and go wash clothes and fold laundry. I want to know that you did the workout. I want to see you all sweaty and gross. Um, and then whoever shows the most participation throughout like a month period or a week period or the whole challenge group period, then you could offer a small prize, whatever that prize is, whatever you feel is something you could afford or want to do. Uh, that is a great incentive. Um, people love to be in challenge groups because it makes them feel like they're a part of a team and they're not doing this by themselves. They feel more, there's more accountability when you're working with other people or if there's a prize involved, you're competing against other people. You, if you want that prize, then you're going to make sure that you post that you got your workout in today or that here's what I had for breakfast or this was the lunch I made. You're going to do that little bit extra and that's going to keep you accountable. Um, and then on the flip side, as a coach, I have a sense of accountability to my clients just to be fit or to work on my personal story. Um, the days that I don't feel like getting in a workout, those are the days that I think of my challengers and, and they're going through their challenge group and, and they're going through their, um, their workout program. And I kind of feel like I better do this because I need to lead by example. And maybe I'm having a bad day, but they're having bad days too and they're still getting their workout in. Um, when I really, really want to eat unhealthy, um, and it's kind of hard right now because I'm pregnant, but normally when I'm not pregnant and I'm, I'm eating, if I choose something unhealthy, I do think about my challengers and I think about what example I'm setting for them. Um, and I want to lead by example and I want to make sure that I provide them with the best coach. I don't want to just tell them one thing and then do something else behind their back. So for me, coaching is also um, an accountability for myself and for my own fitness journey. Um, and that's about it. I really hope that you get a little bit better idea of how just how important it is for us to be there for our clients. And, and by building that relationship with them through challenge groups, we're going to either A, build long-term clients where they're going to continue to buy different products from us like Shakeology or more when new workout programs come out, they're like, oh, I, I want to get on this. And I know that Amanda is going to coach me through it. Or B, you might notice through these challenge groups that they're super encouraging and that they are constantly helping other challengers out. And a light bulb should go off in your head and be like, wow, that person would be a great coach. Let me ask them if they would consider coaching with me. Um, so there's just... Again, leading by example. So I hope that helped. All right, have a great day. Bye.